Monarch, Season 1, Episodes 1 through 5. Hi, thank you for tuning in to the Tom Patelson Show. Yeah, let's talk about Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, which has the giant title, Legacy of Monsters. Legacy, meaning history, meaning the monarch has always been around, been doing this thing, this always, this, this, this organization, which we thought was just a couple of guys, now it might be a massive thing, and it's got its own television show. I'm watching this because I love Godzilla. Okay, I grew up loving Godzilla movies and any monster movies where a guy had to dress up in a suit and crush little buildings was always fun for me. Uh, Saturday afternoon, long after cartoons and long after we had to mow the lawn and do a bunch of stuff like that, the 2 o'clock movie on Channel 2, where we grew up, my brother John and I would plop down and they would show every Godzilla movie, King Kong movie, Abbott and Costello, Laurel and Ha, all these old movies. I think I've seen every single old Godzilla movie because of that, and I love Godzilla. I love this Godzilla, this Godzilla, this Godzilla, and I even love this Godzilla, even though you had to deal with this Godzilla. Sorry, Godzuki. Ugh. Gross. Weird. So, first five episodes of a show titled Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Do you know what's missing in the first five episodes? Monsters. We need more monsters. That's always been an issue in the monsters. Now, I'm not going to try. I don't want to spoil too much of this show. If you want to watch it, I'm going to watch the whole thing. I watch all of, uh, you know, I'm going to continue on this journey of, of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. But I'll tell you, the timeline is hard and weird and the writing is difficult. There are eight writers in the first ten episodes like a different writer for every episode. And you can really feel that considering uh, there's not a whole lot of through line for the characters. There isn't, there's not a whole lot of, it's difficult to follow along the characters' storylines. Kurt Russell stars as Lee Shaw and his son Wyatt stars as him at a younger age. And it's pretty good. You can tell he's doing an, an impression of his dad, which I think we can all do. We can all do impressions of your dad. You all know how your father acts, so Wyatt acting like Kurt Russell is pretty good. That's not bad. Um, the plot, I don't know. I don't really know what's happening. They're building it really slow and they're leading us in, but because we go back in time a lot to see Lee Shaw's journey of Monarch, and whether he's in it or whether he's not in it, whether he's ousted, and then Kurt Russell shows up to take the story, we go back and forth and back and forth. Then there's the characters from the Godzilla movie, who turns out to have an extra family we don't know about, and then they all turn it, it's, it's, a, it's really angsty. Like it's a lot of angst writing. There's all these people who say, I could care less about that. I could care less about this person. Oh, I don't care about that. Well, you, maybe you should care about this, and I don't care either. But even though I don't care about this and I'm angsty, I'm gonna go on this massive journey and risk my life to find answers to who my dad really is, or was, or grandfather, or what. Again, this, the script, it bounces around a lot, and it's difficult to figure out what the heck's going on. They're building it really slow. We're five episodes in, and we're not real big on the monsters. I'm pretty sure Apple has money. This is on Apple TV. I'm pretty sure they have money enough to to show us more monsters. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, yeah, not a lot of monsters in Legacy of Monsters. It's, it really is, it's all over the place. I don't know if the writing is bad or the acting is bad. Sometimes the writing is just so bad there's no line you could deliver that would make you sound good, that would make you sound like that's something a human being would say. Uh, yeah. And this scene in the, it, it, there's a scene in the Arctic, there's a scene in the snow where people can just walk around without wearing any clothing and be fine with that. Maybe they'll explain that later, maybe they won't. Some characters who are gonna freeze to death, some characters don't freeze to death. I, I'm gonna watch it. I'm all in, obviously. Why Godzilla? Godzilla is, a, is the king of the monsters. Maybe he'll show up. Please, I hope he shows up. I hope something shows up because so far it's not a lot of monsters and it's really difficult to find a cohesive storyline that's going on. I would love to say that I enjoy the mystery, but sometimes I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know. 
They've written the first 10 episodes. I'm halfway in, and we barely just met Monarch, the group. The whole group has been halfway in. Until then, it's a lot of angsty school children complaining about their upbringing, and I, yeah, Legacy of Monsters is the title, huh? Really? Hey, it's time for a shout out. This comes from my review of the Marvels. This is from Zach Milne Talks Movies. Zach says, I enjoyed my time watching it due to the great chemistry between the lead characters and wacky, silly humor. That worked for me. The movie is very underwritten and underdeveloped, though, which is a shame because there's some good concepts here that unfortunately go nowhere. Great review. Keep making the great content. You too, Zach. If you're not following Zach Milne Talks Movies, uh, please do. I, I, yeah, you got a you got a good point there, Zach. Um, it's like they've got three major characters, then Nick Fury, then the villain. They've all got none of them gets a full run of what that character is saying or doing. They're all just kind of in and out, like they're trying to equally write it, so you don't get a deep dive on any of the characters, which kind of short shortcuts us as far as that. But there's lots of bells and whistles and shiny things and flashy lights, so I guess that's why I liked it. Uh, this is why I gave it a good review. But you're true, underwritten. We'll see what they we'll see what they do with the rest of these characters. Honestly, thank you, Zach. That'll do it this week for a quick review of episodes one through five of Monarch Legacy of Monsters. I'm still in it. I'm, I'm watching this show. I'm going to watch this show. I want more monsters. I want more things. It's a good time to be a nerd. Lots of Star Trek, lots of Star Wars, lots of Godzilla, lots of lots of lots of stuff. It's fantastic. Thanks for following me on this journey. Like and subscribe if you like this content. Hit that notification bell so you know when my stuff drops. It drops on Sunday. Until I see you next time, as always. Peace, love, live long and prosper. And I mean it.